Hello again, Judah. Welcome again to this edition of Opa's Storytime. Tonight, I want to read you a story called The Song of Hiawatha by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. It's really a poem and a long poem it is in total, but the part I'm going to read you is about Hiawatha's childhood. Hiawatha was an Indian boy who became a very famous and wise Indian chief. And this part of the story is about him growing up with his grandmother, Nokomis. So here I am with my animal friends who have come to comment on the poem. And since a lot of the story has to do with animals, it's quite appropriate. So here it goes. By the shores of Gichigumi, by the shining big sea water, stood the wigwam of Nokomis, daughter of the moon Nokomis. Dark behind it rose the forest, rose the black and gloomy pine trees, rose the firs with combs upon them. Bright before it beat the water, beat the clear and sunny water, beat the shining big sea water. There the wrinkled old Nokomis nursed the little Hiawatha, rocked him in his linden cradle, bedded soft in moss and rushes, safely bound with reindeer sinews. Still his fretful wail by saying, Hush, the naked bear will hear thee, lulled him into slumber, singing, Ewa yea, my little owlet, who is this that lights the wigwam? With his great eyes lights the wigwam. Ewa yea, my little owlet. Many things Nokomis taught him of the stars that shine in heaven, showed him Ishkuda, the comet, Ishkuda with fiery tresses, showed the death dance of the spirits, warriors with their plumes and war clubs, flaring far away to northward in the frosty nights of winter, showed the broad wide road in winter, pathway of the ghosts, the shadows, running straight across the heavens, crowded with the ghosts, the shadows. At the door on summer evening sat the little Hiawatha, heard the whispering of the pine trees, heard the lapping of the water, sounds of music, words of wonder. Miniwawa, said the pine trees. Mudwaioshka, said the water. Saw the firefly Wawatesi flitting through the dusk of evening with the twinkle of its candle lighting up the brakes and bushes, and he sang the song of children, sang the song Nokomis taught him. Why would he see, little firefly, little flitting firefly insect, little dancing white fire creature, light me with your little candle, ere upon my bed I lay me, ere in sleep I close my eyelids. Saw the moon rise from the waters, rippling, rounding from the water, saw the flecks and shadows on it, whispered, What is that, Nokomis? And the good Nokomis answered, once a warrior, very angry, seized his grandmother and threw her up into the sky at midnight. Right against the moon he threw her. Tis her body that you see there. Saw the rainbow in the heaven, in the eastern sky the rainbow, whispered, What is that, Nokomis? And the good Nokomis answered, Tis the heaven of flowers you see there, all the wild flowers of the forest, all the lilies of the prairie, when on earth they fade and perish blossom in that heaven above us. When he heard the owls at midnight, hooting, laughing in the forest, what is that? he cried in terror. What is that? he said, Nokomis. And the good Nokomis answered, that is but the owl and owlet, talking in their native language, talking, scolding at each other. Then the little Hiawatha learned of every bird its language, learned their names and all their secrets, how they built their nests in summer, where they hid themselves in winter, talked with them 
whene'er he met them, called them Hiawatha's chickens. Of all the beasts he learned the language, learned their names and all their secrets, how the beavers built their lodges, where the squirrels hid their acorns, how the reindeer ran so swiftly, why the rabbit was so timid. Talked with them whenever he met them, called them Hiawatha's brothers. Ye who love a nation's legends, love the ballads of a people, that the voices from afar off call to us to pause and listen, speak in tones so plain and childlike, scarcely can the ear distinguish whether they are sung or spoken. Listen to this Indian legend, to this song of Hiawatha. The end. So what did you guys think? Did you uh, like the song of Hiawatha? Would you like to hear it again maybe sometime? Well, maybe we could arrange that. <laughs>